Yo, yo, yo. What's good, world? Back with another one, man. This one right here, man, is uh really interesting. This is an update about the Tia Kemp and Rick Ross situation when his son had got shot at a smoke shop. And, um, you know, they said that she went to the hospital and she arrived late. She got kicked out. She caused a lot of commotion. Y'all see that on another video that I had uploaded already. And, um, now word on the street is this is allegedly everything's for entertainment purposes only. Um, that's when I'm going to just say it's allegedly again. They saying that your boy Ricky Rose put that warning out on her with their son to let baby mama know Tia Kemp get off my back stop trying to put me out there you know she throwing him under the bus she's saying about the daddy parties and you know she's saying he on tapes and all kind of stuff man you know she she putting him on blast man you know and then she trying to get her clout from it too I, I can I can dig that I see that I mean she was on a the 20 versus one or something like that whatever it's called the 20 versus one where one versus 10 or whatever she was on that you know she's been meeting up with Rilo she's been meeting up with some people and stuff man trying to get herself back out there because you know Rose ain't trying to make sure she's taken care of which he should I mean the amount of money he claimed he got and I mean he should be able to help her out and the kid and not even worry about flexing the muscle you know but word out on the street is Rose sent that warning out on his own son allegedly to warn Tia Kemp to back off of him and leave things be because you know Rick Ross ain't feeling that and the way she coming at it man this is going to be crazy if Rose is found on them tapes man this is going to be a whole nother thing here man like man like them car shows, all that stuff gonna stop. She she gonna shut this whole thing down. You know, that's why she going hard like that. And supposedly, allegedly, he retaliated in that type of way. So we'll let you know what's going on on the next upcoming uh videos and uh the new information that's coming out and you know i gotta give y'all the information man y'all sit back and relax enjoy the show man that's what i'm here for man you know so drop them comments man let's talk about this what y'all think about this whole situation man and why y'all let it hit that subscribe button for me man run it up man run it up for me man appreciate all y'all love and support y'all already know that i ain't even gotta say it but i'm gonna say it anyway because i really do appreciate y'all support man all the love y'all be showing me man um to the next one man y'all stay safe be warm you know st stay to yourself man stay out the way and i'm gonna holler at y'all on the next one man i'm out tia kemp just dragged big ross for filth after he allegedly put a hit on her son as revenge for her running her mouth for his affiliations with diddy child tia and rick's feud has now gotten a whole different level of messy because her son william who is also rick ross's stepson is currently in the hospital fighting for his life and word on the street is rick was behind the attack on the boy's life to make matters even worse william's biological father big d was on tape kicking tia out of the hospital because he thinks her online antics against rick is what triggered him to put a hit out on their son and he don't want rick to send his goons to the hospital to finish up what he started if he finds out he is still hanging around william what's even crazier is that the police have also joined in on kicking tia out of the hospital because they also believe her presence is a threat on william's life child let's get right into it because it's a whole lot of tea to be spilled here okay so this entire mess went down just a few days ago when it was reported that tia's son william was the the victim of a drive-by shooting in Miami. Just a few minutes after this was announced, Tia was dragged into a whole load of BS when Rick's messy ex-girlfriend Stormy Jones decided to use this as a gotcha moment by posting about it on her IG stories to seemingly troll Tia for William almost being unalived. She said Tia is all up in everybody's business, but now she's quiet when her son is fighting for his life in the ICU and has apparently not gone to see the boy in the hospital. She posted photos of the incident and said, you know, it's really psychotic 
that this delusional lady Tia can have so much to say about me, my children, my mother, my baby, my daddy. And here it is, her own son is shot in the drive-by sh- and she says nothing about it, doesn't show up to the hospital to be by his bedside, but yet has so much to say about others and spread all these lies about other people, but won't face the truth about her shameful life. She went on to add, girl, talk about your life and your kids. Shut the F up about mine. Throwing rocks, living in a glass house, praying for all the victims involved. It's unclear what Stoney was trying to achieve by putting up all these petty posts, but she was actually the least to Tia problems, because shortly after this, rumors started circulating Speculating that Rick was allegedly behind the hit on William's life. Tia's just been speaking on him a little too much recently and exposing him for having real strong ties to Diddy. In fact, just a few hours before William got hit, Tasha K had previewed a new episode of her show in which Tia appeared as a guest. And she was showing receipts of Rick trash talking Diddy behind his back to her and telling her that he couldn't wait for Diddy to get locked up so he could buy all Diddy properties. So Rick Ross talking shit about Diddy. I should go to my DM. Ooh, I want my phone right now. Bring her phone. Bring her phone. I'm going to go to my DMs because you know he blocked me, but I still can go to all the stuff I screenshot it. Girl, how about he was saying, oh, I can't wait to let him lock that up. I'm going to buy his <laughs> I'm going to show you all the messages we be talking about all his niggas. <laughs> he said he can't wait till they lock the up. He locked up so he could buy his house. That's real fucking too fake. Girl, he real. talked about him. Bring right her phone. Bring her receipt. Yeah. He, he she got phone. two phones. Look. <laughs> Girl, <I'm sorry. laughs> okay. What month it okay. was, so you already know we were now, why you looking for the- Mind you, this was just a few hours before William got hit, and people believe that Rick put a hit on him to send a warning to Tia to stop speaking on him and telling all his secrets to the internet. These rumors got even worse when a viral video of Tia's baby daddy Big D and the police were kicking her out of the hospital that her son was admitted in. Apparently, Big D got word that the reason why William was targeted was because Tia was speaking on Rick, and Rick allegedly decided to put a hit on him so he could send a warning to Tia to remind her he ain't joking around with her. Apparently, Big D informed the cops about this, and that's why in the video, a police officer can be seen helping to get Tia out the building. She's currently a liability, and they do not want to endanger William any further. A lot of people were not here for this because they felt like she should be allowed to still see her son no matter the situation. They were literally treating her like some outcast when her son is in there fighting for his life. One person said he wronged for having her removed from the visiting list. Their son fighting for his son. See, one thing, she liked big so I might have a shot. Another person said, I don't care what y'all say. I'm tripping too if I can't see my son in the hospital after he got shot. Baby daddy gonna be a lot of things. As if this wasn't bad enough, it was also rumored that William was actually the one who told his daddy that he didn't want Tia there because he felt like Tia's loud mouth is what put him in danger and apparently he was upset about the fact that she didn't visit him in the hospital sooner. Now going back to Tia and Rick Ross, she's actually been keeping her foot on his neck ever since this mess with Diddy came out, and she's actually revealed some incriminating things about him that we would have never known had she not told us. In fact, just a few days ago, she had people calling the cops on Rick when she jumped on IG to accuse him of allegedly taking some people's lives. It's unclear why exactly she went on this rant, but from the looks of it, she and Ricky's family members were having some kind of disagreement, and she decided to check them on the internet. She started off this rant by claiming that Rick put a hit on her. However, the people he paid to take her out ran ran off with his money and went behind his back to warn her about what he was trying to do. So we finna clock this tea right here. Renee says you want to stay keeping up sh- We finna talk about some real tea. Your brother over there paying people to put hits out. He over there paying people to put hits out. And Nick running off with his money and it's getting back to me. So now, now I'm finna send the feds over there to y'all empire. See, you had the right b- today, you keep playing with me, I'm for the tell y'all my empire down. Tia said Rick is also responsible for the deaths of several people, including a woman named Miss Carol, whose death is still unresolved and actively being investigated by the cops and her family. According to Tia, the woman was unalived on her way home by Rick and his crew. Oh, but that wasn't it, y'all. Tia brought up the death of another man who she claims Rick unalived in front of one of his properties, popularly known as the Black House. You know, about the man who they who, who was 
in front of Black House? Okay. We better dig up a whole bunch of motherfucking maggots right now. I'm not fit to play with you, you old zip bitch. I'm fit to finish y'all motherfuckers. Watch this. Crazy thing is, even prior to this, she had already made some other very shocking claims about Rick Ross. A few months ago, when Diddy's house got raided by Homeland Security, Tia jumped on IG Live and accused Rick of running to Miami to lay low for a little bit because he's scared he might be next to be investigated after Diddy. According to Tia, Diddy has multiple tapes of Rick getting freaky at them parties, and he plans to turn everything over to the feds at the right time. You big man. Will, I want you to talk, talk. Don't be scared now. No diddy, huh? You scared now, huh? I know y'all on them tapes. Freaky b I know you is. Ten churn half It's time to show them churns now. I ain't gonna let off here. <laughs> you should have been shut this big mouth hole up. You know it. You know it. Sit me a fruit bag. Hey, right now, can't hit me and my baby prom in two weeks. I'm gonna go let off. Turn that down, man. Turn it down. It's quiet right now, fat. What you quiet for? Nobody want to see your Louis outfits and sneakers. Nobody want to see it. Nobody don't care to see the Jets no more. Hoes not. Go over there and get Diddy a hug. Go ride the bike with him, you fat. You know what time it is. Prom time. You ain't sent a motherfucking message since December 9th, you big bag. But I'm not finna play with you. I'm not. You gonna make me come to the gate fat. You been in Miami a lot, cause you ain't got no motions. It's slowing down. I heard, I heard you fat. I can heard. I'ma get you, Will. I'ma get your. I'ma get universe. Do your work on that big, big back. And if you keep sending motherfucking messages round, that's getting back to me. I'ma come over here and tell it all. You be told your to be toe in next you know what i'm talking about now it's unclear if the rumors about rick ross sitting a hit on william is true but if it is tia might want to pump the brakes on exposing rick because he is not having it and not even her son is off limits as usual people had their own thoughts about this like this person who said check on tia i know she's going through an emotional roller coaster right now people see a hurt black woman and instantly assume she's the issue it's weird another person said nah rick ross went after Tia Kemp first because it would be dumb to shoot his own son. He trying to quiet her because she was speaking on what he was doing with Diddy and all the secrets he hiding. That's what she was around to speak on. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Rick Ross allegedly putting a hit on his stepson? And do y'all think Tia's recent rants are what triggered him to get on your f***ing knees and repent? Because if you send another motherfucking hit message out here, I'm a mother and have first 48 hit you up you bad bitch. you scared of jail huh <laughs> you scared of jail bitch. you remember you was in that crowd for that mother quarter chinese fried rice bitch. you were trying to pay a god 5k for when you was in that for them couple weeks you don't want no pressure keep playing keep it on i can't wait to see you in the headlines you Big mouth, all you do is brag and talk shit about it around. Doing good or bad, you's a wicked. I'm sick of your, I'ma tell, I'ma tell. <laughs> I'ma take plan with me. I'ma tell, Willie. Keep playing, big Willie. Keep playing. Farmer's Market on Griffin Road. You know where to go, you fat b I'm not fit to play with you no more by mine, so you playing games. This that shit is old, man. If you could pay enough punks and b out there in motherfucking Mississippi and Tennessee and all that shit, all you want to hold, it ain't gonna shut it down or stop nothing, you big bad Now, damn, man. Tia Cap recently sat down with Tasha K on an interview. And she has some words to say about Rick Ross and Mr. Diddy. Claiming that Rick Ross said that he was waiting for Diddy to get locked up so he can buy all of his ish. Come on, man. Get him out of here. So, Rick Ross talking shit about Diddy. I should go to my DM. Ooh, I want my phone right now. Bring her phone. Bring her phone. I'm going to go to my DMs because you know he blocked me, but I still can go to all this stuff. I screenshot it. 
girl. How about he was saying, oh, I can't wait to let me y'all that n- up. I'm going to buy his shit. <laughs> I'm going to show you all the messages where he's going to be talking about all his niggas. <laughs> He said he can't wait till they lock yeah, Giddy up. Locked up so he could buy his house. That's real fucking too fake. Great. Nah, yo, y'all think that Tia Kemp is making this stuff up just to get some clout? Or do y'all really think that Rick Ross was out here waiting for Diddy to go down so he could buy some of his stuff out? Because from what I've seen, Diddy and Rick Ross were buddy buddies, man. I mean, Diddy even produced one of Rick Ross's albums. Like, they were homies, man. Come on, man. Get him out of here.